Ever wondered how to convert your creative sparks into real earnings? Today, we're venturing into the realm of mid-journey, where your creative inputs become visually stunning outputs. But there's a twist. It's not just about crafting art, it's about crafting your financial success. Stay tuned to uncover the secrets. Midjourney stands at the forefront of AI art innovation, turning simple text prompts into breathtaking visual masterpieces. Yet the real journey begins when these creations open doors to new income avenues, side hustles, and passive income. I'm here to navigate you from the spark of creation to the bank of monetization. Our video today zeroes in on harnessing the power of your mid-journey images, transforming them into lucrative assets on Adobe Stock and Wirestock. And because I believe in going the extra mile, I'll reveal an exclusive strategy to boost your profits even further. Let's dive into the world where art meets market. If you like this video, remember to click the like button. And if you like our content so far, click the subscribe button to be alerted about our next videos. Now, let's talk stock photos. Wirestock and Adobe Stock are your gateways to the vast world of stock photography. But with a twist, you'll be selling AI-generated images. First up, Wirestock. While the free version of Wirestock offers limited submissions, it opens the door to the stock photo market for many artists. For those looking to increase their submission volume and potentially their earnings, upgrading to Wirestock Premium is a viable option. We currently use Wirestock Premium, which we got at a 50% discount at $6.49 a month paid annually. Using the Premium plan, you can get 100 monthly marketplace and challenge submissions, generate 100 AI images monthly, create and monetize your personal image generator, three themes per month, and set your own prices for your stock images. The personal image generator can be another way to make money on Wirestock. The themes you create are a bit like the prompts sold on PromptBase, and other Wirestock users can use your themes to generate AI images from the Wirestock platform or purchase your themes. Many creative challenges take place on the Wirestock website, and you can often submit images to Wirestock to take part in the various challenges. In a bid to get the challenge prizes and add images to your portfolio, we took part in the Supercars Challenge, hence why we have cars in our portfolio. In the Explore section, you will see digital and AI images that sell the most. You can also sell images with the prompt used to generate them for a higher price. This is our personal portfolio page, and you can see that we have sold for $6.22 of images in our first month on Wirestock. Because of the 100 images a month threshold, we are not able to submit as many as we would like. The idea from now on is to submit popular and very good images, not just anything. Funnily enough, we took part in a challenge called European Cities at Dawn, and we submitted images of Sevilla in Spain at dawn, as we were planning a trip there this month. And we sold two images from that series of five already. Let's try and use the Wirestock image generator to generate an image of a female's hands on a laptop that could be used as stock photos to be uploaded to Wirestock. You can see that, unlike Midjourney, Wirestock's AI generator outputs images that are not quite there yet. I tried and used the same prompt in Midjourney to generate a similar image, and you can see the result is much better. Now I am also going to try to use a stock image as a model. To upload a picture on Midjourney, click the plus symbol next to the input field, then locate the image on your computer and choose Open. Once the image is on Midjourney, press 
Enter. The image will display a little bit bigger. Then type in the input field. Forward slash imagine, press Enter. Then type or paste the prompt in. Then drag the image into the input field in front of the prompt and press Enter. What do you think? Remember, stock platforms have quality standards, so aim high. Also remember that when you generate images on mid-journey, the resolution is pretty basic. You will have to use the upscale, subtle option to enlarge every single image you generate for it to be usable on stock image sites. Otherwise, you will have to upscale the images yourself using TinyWow and that can be quite time-consuming. We need to emphasize the importance of quality over quantity, encouraging creators to focus on producing standout images that have a higher chance of being purchased. Before uploading, creators are encouraged to focus on unique subjects, select the best images, avoid copyrighted content, and ensure their images are of high resolution and free from digital artifacts. Upon uploading, Creators can either let Wirestock handle the titling, describing, and tagging of images, or choose to input this information manually. The platform distributes the images to various stock agencies, with the acceptance process taking a few days. Even if an image is not accepted by an agency, it can still be sold directly from the creator's portfolio on Wirestock. Stay ahead of trends and seasons. Wirestock collaborates with major stock photo agencies such as Getty Images, Adobe Stock, Shutterstock, Alamy, Pond5, Freepec, Deposit Photos, iStock, and Dreamstime. By using Wirestock, creators can bypass the individual submission processes of these platforms as Wirestock handles the distribution, while only keeping 15% of the earnings, leaving the creators with 85%. Generating stock-worthy images with mid-journey is an art in itself. Focus on commercial appeal and originality. Now we get back to our wire stock portfolio. And because we have reached our uploading limit for the month, I will be deleting a few images from our portfolio to show you how we can upload a new image. and how it appears in our portfolio afterward. Now on to Adobe Stock. Firstly, it's a free platform, and you can submit as many images as you want. This is our portfolio, and you can see we have sold one AI image for 37 cents in our first month, which is not great. Let me now show you how to upload an image to our portfolio. I will upload the same one I uploaded to Wirestock. You can see that Adobe Stock has pre-generated keywords for us to add with the click of a button. Just enter the title and submit the image. And that's it. One downside of Adobe Stock is that they take ages to review your images, and it's not always clear which images have been kept for your portfolio. You may remember that at the beginning of the video, I hinted I had something for you to use at the end of the video. If you have been watching our videos, you must know by now that generating images on mid-journey is extremely time-consuming, especially if you use relaxed hours. What if you had a tool that could generate images automatically in mid-journey from a prompt all night long while you sleep? There is such a tool, and it is the brainchild of Michael King. The Midjourney Automation Bot is designed to enhance the creative process by automating the generation of AI-powered images. It allows for batch processing of image prompts. You can find a demo of how the tool works when you click the link. I added the link to this tool in the description below. I use this tool constantly. Once I have tested a prompt a few times, 
I write a few dozen of it with various combinations and launch it for it to work while I sleep. Genius. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like it, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell to be reminded of new video releases.